Fukushima is the greatest ecological disaster in the history of humanity. Nobody wanted to talk about it. We screamed ill. The Japanese government is trying to dispel concerns regarding the situation at Fukushima Daiichi. Fucking retarded lunatics. <laughs> you pathetic pieces of shit. You're going to land in prison cells this time. For real. For real. People can say all they want about me, how I've approached this. But this is the biggest cover-up in human... Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has approved a $470 million budget to deal with the accumulation of hundreds of thousands of tons of contaminated water at the plant. The funds will be allocated to enclose the site behind a barrier of frozen soil, a method whose effectiveness has yet to be demonstrated. You're not going to pull this off right in your face as we recorded it in detail. How You knew, you knew. NHK Worlds, Mikiko Suzuki reports. When you should be afraid, they don't tell you the truth. This is the protection of the nuclear cartel, the DOE, the Department of Energy cartel. An estimated 1,000 tons of groundwater is flowing from nearby mountains towards the plant every day. About 400 tons sweep into the basements of the damaged reactors where the water becomes highly contaminated. TEPCO engineers are trying to stop the inflow of groundwater into the plant. But the company has been struggling to control the situation. Experts say about 300 tons of contaminated water ends up in the ocean every day. In addition, several leaks have been detected in storage tanks. The Japanese government has decided to intervene. They knew. They knew in detail. We're going to come out now, and this fact, oh, it's going to, it's going to, what's going to happen, what could happen, when happened, what, it already happened. We've drawn up a basic plan to solve the problem of contaminated water, instead of reacting to each new problem as it arises. We're going to lay flowers at the tombstones. At, they killed us. They, and the mass murderers who killed us, we put up on pedestals. Engineers plan to freeze the soil around the site. Crews would bury pipes underground. They would then circulate coolants at a temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius. Look at all of them. I mean, they're scum. They're scum. The nuclear cartel, they're scum. And you guys just sit back and let them do it to you. The frozen soil would act as a dam to prevent groundwater from seeping into the plant. You know, for all of you, you don't care. The news, you read off a teleprompter with hairspray on. Oh, the worst ecological disaster, the sea lions are dying, the dolphins are dying, the two-legged beer drinking mammals. Let's check the weather now. You don't care. But the effectiveness of this method remains unclear. How do you not get this? It has never been used on such scale in Japan, nor tested over long periods of time. The nuclear nightmare that we thought and we said could it possibly happen in this country? We always said, of course, it happened Chernobyl. Remember they told us, oh, it can't happen, it won't happen. We don't have that discussion. Local people have been briefed on the government and TEPCO's measures to deal with the contaminated water. And remember this, by international law, by United States law, all nuclear reactors all over the world, which TEPCO is General Electric, and the United States is running the show. The United States is Japan. Do you forget the treaty signed after World War II? Many fishermen voice their frustration at the way the situation is being handled. Enough already. Which do you think is most important? Your company or the Japanese public? We are the victims. This is the United States of General Electric. The chairman of the Nuclear Regulation Authority says there may be no alternative to releasing some of the water into the ocean after filtering out radioactive particles. Entomb this fucking thing! Show some respect for your fucking children! The government and the expert panel are trying to restore trust with the fishermen and locals. You walk around with hairspray, you're all, oh, look at me, I drive a star, I have a styrofoam mansion and I drive a car. Uh, really? Really? That's who the fuck you are? But they admit that it may take some time. There's nothing personal about people anymore. There's nothing maybe because you think it's all abstract. You don't think you get cancer. Oh yeah, so and so died of cancer. Oh yeah. Oh what? Well, you know, you guys going? To, where are you guys going to dinner tonight? Oh yeah, we're going to go to Vegas. Oh, do you know so and so X died of cancer? She was 30. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I like your hair. Where'd you get your nails done? You know. Oh, who's your plastic surgeon? Oh, you are, oh what? Yeah. I mean, it's pathetic. You're dehuman. Dehuman. Oh, chemical war. I mean, who's using chemicals on who? General Electric is using chemicals on us. The United States of General Electric, of nuclear, are using chemical weapons on their own people, their kids, their children.
plume gate is Tony Collins, which is beautiful. I call it Pacific Genocide. What the fuck is the matter with you fucking people? This isn't going to happen, it's happening. South Korea's ruling party is pushing the government to consider an important ban, or import ban rather, on Japanese farm and marine products. The move follows leaks of radioactive water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The head of the Seinuri party, Huang Uyi, requested the government to take further measures to ensure the safety of food imports from Japan. Huang also said government officials should consider banning imports of Japanese products until their safety is confirmed. South Korean officials have asked Japan to provide information about contaminated water leaks and South Korean fish dealers are testing imports for radioactive contamination as consumers express concerns over safety. Japan's leaders have drawn up a plan to address the crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. They've watched as workers have tried to deal with the buildup of radioactive water. They're earmarking about 21 billion yen, $210 million, to try to solve the problem. They'll use the money to decontaminate the water and to try to contain leaks. They plan to do that by freezing soil around the damaged reactors. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga will lead a panel overseeing work at the plant. The panel will take charge of decommissioning the reactors. The members have promised to improve communications with workers and officials from plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company. The head of Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority says it will legally oblige TEPCO to address the leaks. He criticized people at the utility for continuing to make quick fixes. Shuichi Tanaka discussed the leak of 300 tons of radioactive wastewater from a tank last month. He said reports on what caused it, how it happened, and how much water got out are only estimates. He then suggested one possible approach. We might have to consider releasing some of the radioactive wastewater that is below the safety limit into the ocean. Nuclear power plants around the world have been doing so, as a matter of fact. But first, we have to purify the wastewater from the Fukushima plant to that level. Tanaka said if the people in charge of the plant release the wastewater, they'll have to explain what they're doing. He said higher concentrations of tritium and strontium were found in groundwater samples in May. He said tritium levels were higher near the beach, suggesting groundwater was seeping into the ocean. Workers at Fukushima Daiichi have been taking a closer look at tanks used to store radioactive water from the plant. Now they say they may have figured out why radiation levels near some of the tanks are rising. They say the seals inside the tanks appear to have failed. Over the weekend, workers at the plant discovered high levels of radiation near the bottom of three of the tanks. The readings were highest where the tank's steel plates are bolted together. Workers then noticed that resin was pushing out from inside. The resin is used on the tank's inner seams. It expands when soaked with water. TEPCO officials believe wear and tear caused the resin to extrude from the joints. They say there's no sign that any water has leaked out. And they say radiation levels are not high on the ground beneath the tanks. Workers began monitoring radiation more closely last month. They had found that 300 tons of radioactive water had leaked from one of the storage tanks. Earlier this week, workers discovered a high-level beta-ray radiation near a different tank at the plant. Google has released new images of restricted areas around the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Access to the areas is still restricted due to high radiation levels. The Internet giant's Street View service has been offering photos of areas devastated by the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami for some time. The newly released images were taken between April and August and for the first time include the towns of Futaba and Okuma. The photos show debris still scattered around nearly 30 months after the disaster. Former residents are indefinitely restricted from living in most parts of both towns. Officials of the towns gave Google permission to take the photos. Our latest images show the impact of the disaster remains. 
We hope the photos will help prompt people to do something to support reconstruction efforts in affected areas. Radioactive contamination remains a concern for Fukushima residents nearly two and a half years after the March 11th disaster. Local officials have placed a priority on checking the exposure of children and expectant mothers. They're offering to test their radiation levels free of charge. But many parents are worried that their infants haven't been able to undergo the checks. NHK World's Mitsuko Nishikawa has the story. Kuniko Usui lives in Fukushima with her two-year-old daughter, Momoka. The two of them spent a lot of time outdoors shortly after the nuclear crisis began. They had to wait in line to buy food and baby supplies. Kuniko is concerned that her daughter was exposed to high levels of radiation in the air. And she's worried about contamination from tainted food and water since then. Whenever my child gets sick, I immediately worry that it's the effects of radiation. Many parents in Fukushima are in the same situation. They're desperate to have their children checked for radiation exposure. But hospital officials say they lack the resources to carry out the tests. We looked for the right equipment. But there's nothing anywhere in the world that can accurately test small children. Doctors have been conducting radiation checks on adults using a device called a whole body counter. The machine is like a small room that contains radiation detectors. But infants are too small to use them. Scientists and industrial designers in Tokyo are trying to solve the problem. They've been working on a project to design a radiation tester for infants and small children. Professor Ryugo Hayano of the University of Tokyo is leading the team. We have to achieve, uh, build a very highly sensitive detector to measure uh, children for internal contamination. The team is working on a design that will offer much greater precision. It's come up with a model that shuts out nearly all radiation from the surrounding atmosphere. The machine has an open design that allows children to look at their parents during the procedure. Parents will lay their babies inside like this. And the device has four detectors here, double those of conventional equipment. And the experts say that will bring accurate measurements. <laughs> Infants often cry or get agitated when confined in a small space. But for radiation detectors to work effectively, children must stay still for about four minutes. The team is discussing ways to keep them calm. On this day, the project members invited some small children to test it out. As expected, some were able to stay calm, but some flat out refused to go in. Others went in but couldn't stay still. We always encounter something unexpected and experiments like this. One infant was laid on her stomach and shown a video. She stayed still for more than four minutes. Scientists tested the same method on others and found it to be effective. I hope that the completion of this project uh, will uh, make it possible to stand essentially everybody in Fukushima and make sure that uh, there is nobody uh, who is still having high level of oxygen in their bodies. Officials say the new machine may be ready for use as early as next month. The team members hope that by testing the smallest members of the community for radiation exposure, they'll help ease the anxiety faced by parents. Mitsuko Nishikawa, NHK World, Fukushima.